Chris Brooke, and I'm so excited you're here today. So tonight we're going to talk about feeling stuck and those effects they have on our friends and our relationships. First week we talked about feeling stuck and the, the effects on ourselves, and last week on our significant others. So this week we're going to talk about those effects on our relationships and our friends. So do you ever feel like you're in a place where your friends are kind of at the same level you are? And maybe if this was the level where we're at and this is the level where we want to be, our friends are kind of here at the same level. Well, yeah, because misery loves company. So, you know, when you have the friends at the same level, unless they have uh, some goals to get better and to improve their lives, they're going to keep you at that level. As you continue to move up, they will start to put you down or remind you of things that they know get under your skin so that way you'll go back to their level because that's where they feel comfortable. Just because they feel comfortable there doesn't mean you have to be there anymore. I've had friends that um, that anytime I would start to improve, they would just, you know, be rude and remind me of the different things and knew exactly what triggers to push so that they brought me back down to their level. Well, you know what? I don't, I'm not friends with those people anymore. And you don't need to be either. We need a circle of excellence. And those people at work that uh, kind of might get on your nerves. The other day I was watching TV and they said that when we work really, really closely to people, we do three things. We either become lovers, we develop great friendships, or we become enemies. So before you become enemies, those first two will kind of take care of themselves. But before you become enemies with someone, you should definitely contact me and we will work on getting uh, some uh, removing blocks so that way and moving some things around. So that way those people that are getting on your nerves won't get on your nerves as badly anymore or you'll just respond differently. Because the fact of the matter is there's a difference between being controlling and being in control. So like when a person is being controlling, they want to control everybody and everything in their environment. And that's unrealistic. So if you think about it, if you have thoughts like, why can't people just do what I say? Why can't they just make me happy? The fact of the matter is, for that to truly work, you would have to write scripts for everybody that you came in contact with. Say you came in contact with 20 or 30, 50 people a day. That means you would be writing scripts for like 50 people a day. And you'd have to put on there, you know, this person needs to say this, and they need to pause this long, and they need to smile here, and, and you have to be giving out scripts every day. So if you were doing all of that, and what if Joe Blow took a two-second pause instead of a one-second pause like the script says, that's just too much work. And you have to refilm, you have to redo things. So that's just too much work. And you don't have to be writing all these scripts out for everyone. So it is much easier to be in control instead of controlling because no matter how you, much you try to control everything, it's going to fail because it, it just is. When you're in control, however, then you have the ability to block out the things you don't want to hear or lessen the effect that it has on you. And you have the ability to turn up the good things in your life and really put those in front of you so that's what you see instead of those blocks that get in your way. And I can definitely help you with that. And so we have, uh, also we need to think about like what, what effects that this have on our health. For example, if you're in a situation where, it, like if you have hereditary diseases and things like that, it's a little bit different. But uh, for just a general person, stress and anxiety, and well for everybody, stress and anxiety does increase blood pressure, it does increase heart rate, and it does make you feel bad. And I'll show you a, a quick example. This isn't health week, but health week we'll talk about this a little bit more. But if you look at this and say, pretend this was how it dilated your artery, which that's what causes uh, high blood pressure. Say if this was a normal dilation, this is cholesterol here on the side. If this is what it's supposed to look like, plenty of room for blood flow to get through, everything's going easily and smoothly. When you get stressed or anxious or scared, uh, then it, you get what's called vasoconstriction and 
or uh, high blood pressure in some cases and see how much how much smaller the space is for the blood to go through there as, comp as compared to when your blood pressure is normal. So stress and anxiety can cause all of those things. So working together, we can help reduce the stress and anxiety in your life, which will reduce your uh, blood pressure. Uh, things like uh, diabetes can also get very out of control. So that's why your doctors always say decrease stress and anxiety, exercise, and drink water. Um, I haven't quite got the water down, but anyway. Um, so those are the reasons why, because those are just are feeding into what will can become major health problems down the road and health week we'll talk more about what high blood pressure can lead to but anyway so back to relationships so if you um if you're with these friends like I said that are just keeping you at that same level after a while or in relationships that are just keeping you at the same level uh, and it may be causing you like different things to happen in your life because of them. You know, you're only the victim for so long. You're a victim for a short period of time. But once you realize that relationship, that situation, or that that whatever it is that you're involved with is going to keep is uh, leaving you at this place. Once you realize that, you're no longer the victim. You're now the enabler. And I know that's tough to imagine and tough to think about. But the fact of the matter is. You're part of the part of whatever's going wrong in your life, and it may be just the fact of how you're dealing with it. But once um, you realize you're the enabler, don't like get offended. But you are either taking an active or an inactive uh, steps to continue that same situation or that same feeling that you're feeling inside of yourself, because you are actively or inactively making that decision to contribute. That means that very easily we can change the focus off of that situation. We can set up new goals for you. We can see where you actually want to be and we can start making the changes so that way you can remove yourself and elevate yourself from whatever that situation may be. And um, I have a, I worked with this man in, in Austin and he you know, just kind of felt like life was just like what he had to put up with. It was been the same way for many years. It was going to be the same way till he died. And that was that. But what he did not realize was he was lacking in self-love because he had never really paid attention. So it's definitely something, um, these situations may be just something that we're not really paying that much attention to because I didn't realize I was lacking in self-love when I was going through my things either. But... We will work on uh, increasing your self-love and once you get out of whatever that situation is causing you stress and you start realizing um, that you need to love yourself a little bit more and you start making those those moves to doing that, things will start getting much better, much quicker. And always remember, my company's name just broke because when I was in neurolinguistics programming, my um, the, the man I was working with, he asked me, you know, he said there's there's a part of you that doesn't let anything stand in your way. You start businesses. You make sure that people's needs are met. Nothing ever stands in your way. So let's give that part of you a name instead of naming all those adjectives. And I said, Brooke. And he said, does Brooke need a, a first name or a last name? And I said, nope, just Brooke. So remember, there's enough love in me and enough just Brooke in me. So until you remember that... Remember that you do love yourself and you get that self-love going again inside of yourself. And until you uh, have that breakthrough and you realize you are worthy and you are able to get through things, there's enough of all that in me to share with you that you can tap into until you're at that point of your life. And I know you will be at that point of your life very quickly. So uh, join my group. It's Dream Life Transformation NLP Secrets for Professionals. That's where I house all my courses and all my groups. I've had a number of phone calls and emails lately not realizing that I am a self-discovery coach and I am here to help you get back whatever it is you want in your life or make new goals and reach those goals. Uh, I've been a registered nurse for 30 years, so I've worked with thousands of patients over the years. And I am definitely here to help you. I've been certified in neurolinguistics programming as well since 2012. 
And for those of you that are following me because you're in the medical field, let's just take a few minutes to talk about that. Um, I know like in the medical field, like we've talked about, we, we're, we're used to helping people and fixing other people, but there's times when we have to take a look at our own lives and ask for that help too. So it was hard for me too. So I get it because we're the fixers, but I am definitely here to help you. And, um, Roy, we were going to film, uh, some videos for y'all Sunday, but my son, uh, had some medical problems. So I needed to help him. And that's why I'm, I'm videoing this in a day late. So I'm sorry. I was helping my son, but uh, for the first responders out there, he's a first responder, and so he knows exactly, you know, the things y'all go through, and uh, we also, for the the guy time, and I mean, I'm sorry, the just for guys and the girl time, girl talk, uh, we definitely have a male um, opinion available, because no matter what the media tells you, guys' opinions count too, so we can work with Roy and get the guy's opinion uh, for some of your situations as well. And so maybe in the next couple of weeks, our schedules will meet up so he can do a, a video with me so y'all can meet him. So I want to help you in any way I can. Uh, just because life has been like it has been for however long it's been for you at this point does not mean it has to continue like that. The other day I talked to this lady she called and called me with an insurance question and I got my insurance license because I wanted to understand Medicare uh, more effectively for my people that are 65 years and older. Um, so anyway, I, uh, I, I don't sell insurance though, but I just have my license. But anyway, so this lady called me because she had a question about insurance and she was 84 years old. You know, she has carried a burden with her and something that has bothered her for 60 years. And she didn't have to do that. And we don't have to do that. We don't have to carry it for any length of time. But definitely, 60 years is a long time to carry things. But folks, days turn into weeks. Weeks turn into months. And months turn into years. Uh, I know with my things, I, I carried all that stuff for way too long also. So I'm here to help you to stop having those burdens and to help you uh, with whatever that may be that you want to goal you may want to obtain so again uh go to my dream life transformation nlp secrets for professionals uh like share and join and then that's where my courses are available dream life transformation nlp blueprints for professionals uh living life fully with medical conditions which also includes some information for caregivers remember my brother had a congenital the heart defect if you've been following me for a while you know that, and if you haven't, you can click back and, and find out more information about that. So I know caregivers are very important. That also has some information for um, insurance for those 65 and older as well. Just for guys, girl time, girl talk, and be happy, medical staff and first responders. So I look forward to helping you, and remember, we can make your tomorrow whatever you would like for it to be. I uh, definitely am extending my hand just for you. Love you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Comment below if you need some assistance or you can instant message me uh, by going through my group or my um, my my Facebook, cami at atjustbroke.net. Uh, below is also the link to my group as well as to my webpage where I have courses available for you to just click on and take, you know, in whatever order you would like. Or you can, uh, and you can schedule a one-on-one -on -one with me. Or the best way is probably to take my course where in 60 days you will have like a complete package and it's, it's a transformational. It's all the tools that I learned in neurolinguistics programming. There's some medical things in there when needed. And um, also some tools that I created where I felt neurolinguistics programming was a lacking, at least for me. So all that is neatly organized for you in my courses. Otherwise, you can just click and, and choose the, the courses that you would like to take. And uh, within the next week, my book will also be available on there, but I'll let y'all know when that's ready. Thank you so much. Love you. Bye.